Hey guys, we are back with some more ARK on the Vanilla with Sprinkle server, and uh, we're just chilling out here with Winston. I made him a little bedroom. <laughs> we made, we put him into this little cubby before, and then I was like, you know what, I think I kind of want to just go the extra mile and make like <laughs> a tiny little bedroom. It looks hilarious. He's got like a little mortar and pestle as like a bowl. I've put like a bed that's halfway through the wall, so it looks like a tiny bed. And uh, I think eventually we're gonna get somebody to take a photo of me using a camera and I'm gonna put like a painting of me here. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it's hilarious. Uh, I was talking to some of the fans of the Discord as well, they gave us some really cool ideas for this as well, like thatch bedding and stuff, so... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna close that up. Also, there are, there's a double doorway thing here, uh, which is part of S+, and I put a glass door in there, so you can see out and everything, and we can see in. Anyway, that is, that's not what we're doing today. <laughs> We're gonna go out and we're hopefully gonna try to tame some eels here today. Um, now, I have not actually tamed the eels for a long time, okay? We tamed them as soon as they came out and we had a very bad experience on this channel. Seriously, we, we had like a really bad experience. Back then, if you guys didn't know, if you're semi-new to ARK or I guess eels in ARK, Back when the eels were first introduced, they acted the exact same as the jellyfish, except they had range. They could shoot like the little like electric shocks at you and like stun your creatures from like pretty far away and your creatures couldn't move at all uh they could also glitch into squid and kill them without the squid actually being able to fight back these things were just terrifying okay and when we were when we were trying to tame them on the day it was really difficult um and we lost a mosa a f like a full-on mosa it was a very high level mosa and we freaking lost it to eels now, luckily, since then, they've actually went ahead and made a huge, a huge change to the eels, which means that they cannot, I think they can no longer, like, properly stun you. They, what they do now is they, um, they pretty much just, like, uh, inflict torpor, I believe. Uh, also, crap, we need, we need to get some, uh, stimulant, I think. Yeah, we gotta go grab some of that. So yeah, what we're gonna have to do today is like, I, I've never, I haven't tamed them since, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I've gotta figure out exactly how it works now and tame up a couple because we're gonna need a few for our little eel pit that we're gonna make eventually. Do I even have any stimulant? Let me, I'll use this table to try to pull it if I have any. If I don't, I'm gonna have to make some. Um, stim, stimulant. All right, I don't have any stimulant. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna make some stimulant. That shouldn't take too long. I'll just grab my Therizino. So, uh, yeah, anyway, they were very difficult to tame when they were first introduced. We had a really bad time. I hate eels. I hated them so much. Everybody on the server hated them so much that we actually decreased their spawns. And we don't really do that, like, with creatures. We don't really decrease the spawns of, like, pegos or anything. But with eels, we just had to. We, we just, we decreased the spawns to literally almost nothing, um, which was crazy. But... <laughs> They've since obviously made the massive changes to it, so it's they're a lot different now. Probably going to be easier to tame. Uh, probably going to be less dangerous in general. Um, so hopefully we're going to have a good experience here today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was that was kind of crazy back then. Uh, this is not the S plus one. I actually had to make a normal one because for some reason I wasn't able to craft some items in there. Um, I'll just chuck these in here. Do I have any uh, spark powder? All right, where's all my spark pattern? I know I have a bunch. Let's just go down here and grab some. So yes, um, eel taming, hopefully maybe do some breeding as well. I haven't actually bred them yet. Um, so that's like that's definitely something I want to get to eventually. Maybe we're gonna try, oh crap, I don't have any spark pattern. Oh crap, okay. All right, I'm gonna take a couple minutes and try to sort out some of this stuff because apparently I'm not prepared enough. The sky looks as if it's the evening, but it is the morning, which is interesting. But uh, yes, anyway. If you find yourself enjoying this video at any point, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. Really just help me out. Do appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll head out on our little adventure or possibly our fail episode. Fail episode. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, let's head out here. Got all my stimulant and everything. We're all ready and set. Also, um, the episode where we get the Basilo hasn't actually released yet, so uh, I probably already have a name for this guy at some point. Um, I guess like when, when, the, when you when you guys get give me some decent names, I'll probably pick one from there. But uh, right now, that's not even out yet. Yes, I'm that far ahead. Oh man. Right. Oh wow. There's some eels right here. 
Hang on, let me let me get a little bit away here. I was fighting an alpha here earlier, and I saw some, but uh, they were further down. They must have followed me a little bit. Oh man, they're co oh crap, they're coming for me. Jeez, these things aggro from far. Uh, I didn't actually check the levels on them, so maybe we should do that. Actually, now I'm thinking maybe we should probably lead them into one of my pens. Would that be a does? Would that work? Yeah, we could do that. Actually, we could lead them into one of the water pens. For sure. Um, if I move all the Baslos, I should be able to lead them in. Although, actually, no, because I'm going to need to tame them one by one. Because I remember when I tamed them before, if you, like, have multiple eels trying to tame at the same time, you'll tame one and the rest of them will just kill it. Like, it's it's incredibly hard to do. You just got to kill the ones that you don't want. Uh, what the hell? That was weird. There's so much stuff around here. All right, let me see. What level are you? You did the closest one. All right, this is only a level 12, so we're going to kill him. All right, that was a terrible shot. I panicked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Can I hit him? Apparently not. He's not gonna come right up to me. Damn it. All right, let's go over here a little bit. Okay, so I now they're all like grouped up, which is bad. We have a 12, another 12. We have 114, I want that one. We're gonna tame that one. I don't really care too much about level, but I'd rather get like a decent level eel over a crappy level eel. Don't know how we're going to separate them though. Gonna for sure be a little bit difficult. I, I thought it was going to bite them there. How did I not hit them? Maybe if I keep swimming this way, they'll eventually kind of thin out a little bit. Let me see, which one are you? You're the 114, so I'm just going to swim at the rest of them here and kill all these ones. Oh man, these things are tanky. Alright, I killed three of them. Uh, that's the one that we want. The dark one's the one that we're looking for. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Alright, so we have the one that we want to uh, exclude, or kind of like by himself or whatever. Um, okay, how do we do this? Okay, I think maybe what I... Oh, why the hell do we keep getting, like, stall ups there? I think maybe what we need to do is we need to, um... We need to get the eel to be, like, shocking my Basilo. So I'm gonna leave him there on passive. I'm gonna, like, swim away. I'm gonna let the eel attack him. And then I guess we're gonna go in and try to tame it. I think it needs to be shocking to, uh... To actually... I'm gonna kill this stupid shark. My basil is gonna be fine, by the way, don't worry. It's me I'm kinda worried about. <laughs> I think I hit the eel or something there. Alright, that was a terrible shot. Damn it. Hold still. Alright, we got him. Alright, I think after he shocks, we'll attack. Or we're not, we're not gonna attack, we're gonna go ahead and feed. Alright. I think I just fed him there. Alright. Ooh, let's get out of his, uh, his AoE. Alright, he's just shocked again. I think it takes another second before he can shock. Uh, can we feed him yet? Oh, I gotta get out. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh my god, I'm almost dead. Holy crap. Whoa, that did a lot of damage to me. That was a huge amount of damage. Put these on. That will give me more armor. Oh, man. Another one of those and I would be dead. <laughs> I didn't gain Torpor, though. Did they not do Torpor? Maybe they just do, like, damage now. I'm so confused. I haven't seen these things in a while. Uh, I can't... I think he he still needs to wait for more food. Man. <laughs> it's kind of freaky. Probably should have brought down some medical brews. Alright, we're going to go for him now after this next shock, so... Here we go. Come on, buddy. No, he's not hungry. It's good that he's only focused on my freaking Baslow, though. If he was coming after me as well, that would be terrifying. 
All right, so I don't know. Maybe we'll like leave it a little bit and let him shock him a couple more times. <laughs> oh man, what else is nearby? Okay. After this next shock, we'll try it again. They are a passive tame, so after the very first feed, it it usually takes a while before they need another feed. That's that's usually how the uh, passive tames in this game work. Oh, he needs a feed. Oh crap. Oh no, I'm gonna get shocked. Oh, that was close. He's gonna shock now. There we go. All right, so he needs another feed now, which is good. Oh, I I had him. Oh, I, did I, I think I just fed him. Yeah, I did, 98, perfect. All right, that's two feeds in. I'm not sure how many he's gonna need. <laughs> nice color though, gotta say. The eels actually really do have some, some very interesting colors. Let's let it attack a couple more times here. Let's get in here now. All right, I think he needs another one for sure. He's gonna shock now in a second though. Here we go, and bam. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Come here, eel friend. Oh, I think, did I get him? I did, nice. How many more though? I don't have like, I don't have the uh, the time to be able to tell exactly what he's at in terms of, okay, he's at like maybe 75 to 80% or something there. So one more feed should do it. Not too bad, not too bad. 114 is not, not, not the best level, but you know, I'll take it. Oh, oh, that hurt. Well, let's move away here. Now, luckily, I'm really close to base, so it's it's a little bit easier. But um, still pretty dangerous. All right, after this next shock, we'll go in again. All right, so here we go. He's gonna do it now. All right, and after this, we're gonna put him straight into the pen because I don't want to lose these things. Um, I'm gonna get a male. I'm gonna get a female, hopefully. Oh man, that hurt. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. oh, that was bad. Yeah, that was that was my bad. Uh, we need to be here. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily, like we're right beside the base, so it shouldn't take a second to get back. I was very confused as to what that is, but it's my tar wolf. <laughs> All right. There is the eel. Might be difficult to get down to get my stuff though. Might need to grab a water tank or something. Alright, let's see. Okay, so there's my stuff. I'm um, yeah, okay, I might be able to get down to it. Okay, yeah. Uh, luckily he's still on the Basilo though. If he was coming after me, I'd be screwed. Hmm, am I gonna make it? I don't think I am. I don't want to whistle the Basilo because I don't want to, uh... No, I'm not gonna make it to this stuff at all. Crap. Maybe I will and not drown? Okay, here. Yeah, no, we might make it. I'll have to get that water tank on immediately, though. Come on. Or air tank, not water tank. Uh, there we go. And we drop all that. We can take the rest. Nice. Okay, so one more feed here. I want that on instead. Let's let him shock one more time and then we'll go in. Um. We have enough health to be able to last a couple bites as well. Oh, damn it. He's like right inside my basil. There, we got him. Or her. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so two or 170 even. Uh, let me just unfollow so I can take a look. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, why am I checking there? <laughs> Stats are pretty good actually. Hmm. All right, let's get them into the pen then. I just want to put them in immediately. Uh, we'll put them in here for now. Come on, buddy. You dumb. Are you kidding? You had enough time to get in here. You could have gotten in. Alright, come on in. Okay. So let's unfollow him. Perfect. Oh, man. Alright. 
Let's go out and hunt for some more. We need at least an, another decent level male. If I find another decent level female, I'll probably also tame it. Yeah, he didn't do a whole lot of damage at all. My Basilo was towards the top of the water, so he was healing. Okay. So I don't think there's going to be any more down here, but this kelp forest is actually a really good spot to look for them. At least I've found so far. Alright. Let's take a look. Is that one? Or is that just a light or something? <laughs> um, is that one down there? No, that's an Ammonite. There's some. Uh, level. Oh, what the hell's attacking me? Oh no, I'm taking damage from the depth. That's why. So we had a 108 female, not too bad. Uh, I thought there was a 90 male. Or no, it's a 90 female. Um, all right, I think I'll. I'll swoop in. Actually, no. I'll leave it. No, they're gonna come after me. I'll try and just kill the two that are not, like, the decent level ones. Okay, now I'm gonna stop attacking, because I'm gonna leave that 108 there, and have a look for another one instead. Because, like, we don't really want that one, it's not the best level, and also it's not a male. We do need a male. Let's see. There's usually two so's around here, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a Mosa. What level are you? Twelve. Oh, you're an Alpha. Why is there so many Alphas around here? We just killed one there yesterday. There's Plessies and there's a freaking Lead Sictus. Damn it! There's just so much stuff around here. Oh, these guys are gonna be harder to kill now because the Alpha bonus. All right. Well, this is a little bit of a battle then. Oh man, everything's just on me. <laughs> Alright, well at least the uh, Plessy's almost dead there. Oh, server save or something? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Plessy's almost dead. Man. <laughs> well, I mean, this is an easy 100 Black Pearls, so I'm not gonna complain. That was a 180! <laughs> We didn't come out to tame any places today. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh. All right. How are you doing, Mr. Mosa? You almost dead? Please almost be dead. Die pretty soon here, because we want to get on with the episode. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I can see some blood there. Yeah, he's he's getting pretty bloody. Shouldn't take too much longer. Um, yeah, there's plenty of blood there on his back. Anything else around? No? Good. That lead sick this is up there. Alright, come on, buddy. Any second now. There you go. Did I just eat him? Hopefully I didn't. Alright, let's drop all that. I think I did. We just lost the black pearls. Because my inventory was full and I ate them. We lost the black pearls. That's not his bag, that's mine. That sucks. Damn it. Oh, we got a level. Alright, what is that? Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, we have some more eels here. Man, these things are pretty freaking common. Uh, 114, 24, 6. Uh, there's another one there in the back. 30. Alright, let's just, I'm just gonna kill all of them. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Well, we're just gonna keep looking for eels then, I guess. Uh, we need a male. So, yeah. I'll probably see you guys back in a couple minutes if I find something decent. Oh look, little uh, you're up to these. Thank you for the black pearls. Okay, so we have another eel here. This is a 144 female. I killed all of its friends. Still no males. I actually backtracked to that spot to see if there was any more. And uh, yeah, 
found that little group over there. Um, I think it should be ready for its last feed. Let's just let it shock the Basilo one more time and then I'll hop in. And here we go. <laughs> here we go. Boom. Poop. Immediately. Nice. I like it. Oh, we had it. We had it. Come on. Yes! Nice. Alright, we got the we got the eel. That's two eels so far. Still no fem or still no males even. Um so that kind of sucks. But whatever. I mean like we have we have a decent level female here. 144 is not too bad. Uh so yeah, we do need to freaking find a male though. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna do another sweep. I'll probably go all the way out and then come back and see if more of these eels have spawned in. Like they seem to be spawning back pretty quick, so I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, oh crap. Oh wait, no, that's my base. No, no that's okay. <laughs> I was saying to myself, like, why is there so much stuff here? Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's my base. We're all good. Uh, where, can you load in? Thank you. There we go. Alright, let's get into the pen here. Come on, buddy. Into the pen. Are you in? Oh, you had the perfect chance to get into the goddamn pen. And now there's a shark coming. Now there's two sharks coming, actually. Crap, we gotta get you into this frickin' pen. No, the sharks are getting in. Oh no! God damn! All right, I gotta get. Uh, I'm just gonna hop onto one of my sharks, I guess, and kill these guys before they kill my freaking eels. Stupid sharks in my pen. They make me look bad. All right. Ugh. Come on. Come back. There we go. We got them. All right. I think we're okay now. All right, let's see, how, how are the eels? Are both of them in here? Oh, I thought that was my eel dead or something. I was about to say, like, what the hell? That was scary. All right, stop, follow me, get into the pen. Come on, you had, okay, you better be in, you are in, good. Right, so that is two eels so far. Uh, this one here is a little bit hurt. Man, those sharks did a number on these guys. This one here has better stats. It's better health anyway. Look at that. Must be a very high end health. Melee on this one's better, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. There's quite a quite a large gap in levels, so I don't know, it's kinda weird. Anyway, uh we're just gonna try to tame another male here, and um I guess then we'll be back. Well, we are in luck today, guys. <laughs> Check this out. Mail 180. Now, the other ones here are no good, so that's kind of good, I guess. I mean, if there was like two 180s together, that would be like the worst thing ever because I could only tame one. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to be able to get this guy. We just got to kill all of its friends really quick. Uh, also, my Basilo seriously has taken a lot of damage from the depth and all the fights and stuff we've been in, but still. I think the male. Wait, you're, you're the one. You're the one on the top, okay. Just gotta try to... It's gonna be pretty difficult to be able to ping these guys from this distance, especially with the crossbow. Maybe I should just, like, swim in or something. Yeah, let's just go in. Just gonna try to kill... I think I killed one. We killed level 6. That's okay. Alright, which one? It's the top one, I think. Yes. Okay, we can kill this colorful one here. Alright, so we hit him a little bit, but he should be okay. We do have it, though. Sweet. Alright, are we in a safe area? I mean, I was fighting some Plessy, so we should be okay. Okay. It's gonna let him shock my dude here. Gonna swim up. Okay. So, there should be probably maybe like six or seven um, biotoxin thingies. To tame. It's actually kind of a nice color. Ugh. Oh, swim, 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 swim. Oh, God. I do have my flippers on. I'm like moving really slow, though. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it takes a minute for the second feeding. I forgot. All right. So we're going to try to tame this thing. Oh, man. <laughs> we're going to try to get this 180. Uh, hopefully, we can. I don't see anything around, so we should be okay. Probably just take a little while though. 
Yeah, I keep thinking of seeing stuff now. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back in a few minutes, guys, when we have this thing. Okay, so we've got our eel. Actually, kind of a nice color. Looks like it's kind of blue. It's like blue and like a brownie red or something. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Very nice. Cool. All right, so we're going to bring this thing back to base. Um, now, I don't know if we have enough time to get like some proper breeding going. Maybe we'll just check out what one baby looks like. We'll try to... Well, I, I guess we have two females. So we can breed the male with the two females and see what we get. Um, but I do, at some point, kind of want to make like a little bit of a pack of these, you know, and kind of... Go out onto the ocean and maybe uh, wreck some havoc, maybe kill some things, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to bring it back to base and we'll get some breeding going pretty soon here. Um, I probably, I don't know if we're going to stick them into the pen yet though. Yeah, what we'll probably do is uh, we'll get some breeding going today and then another episode or something we'll start working on mutations and trying to get some for the pit because we're obviously one of the other pits over here. We have our shark pit where we throw our enemies into. But we're also going to have a pit for eels, um, and we're going to like chuck people in there too, it's going to be great. But uh, I do want to actually have somebody around to test that on, and I don't think anybody's going to be on for a couple hours here. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely not be doing that today. <laughs> but uh, yes, so breeding mutations at some point, and then we'll we'll fill up the pit with a bunch of eels, it's going to be great. I, I honestly can't wait for the eel pit, I think it's going to be probably better than the shark pit. Oh man. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna prep some stuff here. We're gonna get some breeding going, and apparently I can't open up gates. Nice. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so we're doing some eel breeding. Um, I did breed them because I was gonna bring you guys back when we had the eggs. Um, and obviously you can't pick up those eggs, right? They're supposed to just sit on the water. Well, apparently this frickin' thing could pick them up. I didn't even know about this. It just, like, it just grabbed them. It just, like, I thought they disappeared or, like, hatched or something for, like, really quick. I was very confused, but apparently this uh, S plus hatchery can actually pick them up, which is not right. You're not supposed to have these. Can I eat it? I kind of don't want to. Uh, by the way, we're probably going to do some sort of Hesperordis hatching because I didn't mean for this many eggs to get in there. They were breeding for like a day. Um, I have like a pan of Hesperordis. By the way, you guys didn't even see me taming these. This was supposed to be an episode. Uh, when like it was supposed to come out when I was gone away um, on my trip last week but I I never got around to fully finishing it and uh, it, yeah it wasn't that great <laughs> also I kind of forgot about it when we got back so whatever anyway over here in the pit and the little uh, water pan or whatever we have the eels I don't know what's gonna happen when I drop these we might lose them I don't, I don't know I don't know if they're gonna hatch I really don't know what's gonna happen actually you know what screw this we're gonna go into the I'm not gonna do it in here we're gonna go into the pit over here let's do it in here I can get back out after if I bring a, a gun with me put a bunch of stuff in here let me grab that grab that and grab that okay cool so we're just gonna hop into the eel pit this is where they're eventually gonna go the shark is glitched into the wall um, oh, I, I should probably grab some food. Probably gonna want food. Alright, let me quickly just grab my flippers on here. Also, I think I lost my original flippers. I have no idea where I put them. I had them one minute, and then the next minute they were just gone, so whatever. I think they were painted as well, so that sucks. Okay, let me just grab a bunch of this. Sweet. Hop back over into this little pen. And uh, then I'm just gonna drop them like I don't know if they're actually gonna like hatch or whatever I don't know if they're just gonna like disappear or glitch out or something because you're not supposed to even have these in your inventory Like you can't pick them up So it's yeah Oh apparently you can hatch. Oh my god. We got twins. Hey. Oh, we got triplets. Oh Hey, hey, buddy Man look at that. Ooh, come here. There you go freaking baby eels Amazing. Oh, whoa. Hey. There you go. You get some as well. I don't think they have any mutations. Yeah, they didn't really look like it. That is so cool, though. Baby eels look amazing. Uh, disable wandering. Gotta get the other one over here as well. Man, I have not seen these things at all. We never actually did eel breeding on the channel before, so this is kind of interesting. 
All right, let's uh, let's drop out the rest. So apparently you can actually pick them up at the hatchery and it, and it can incubate them and you get the actual item. That's so strange. Hey, you kind of get a weird um, texture thing when they're hatching though. Let's give him some foods. Here you go, buddy. Uh, let's disable wandering here. So that's that's really strange. I don't know. That's it's odd that we could do this. Hatch. There we go. We got a little bit. Oh, are you mutated? You. Oh wait, no. It might just be a combination of that reddish one, and then the blue. Yeah, that is a cool combination, though. Holy crap! All right, here's some food for you. Sweet. Well, we have some baby eels, guys. This is super awesome. Let me let me grab all these guys on to follow. We'll just swim around the tank here a little bit. There we go. Let's bring them over here. Look at these little things. They have a little electric shocks around them. That's cool. Little little uh, sparks and stuff. That is awesome. Man, yeah, I, why didn't we do this before? This is really cool. Uh, you get that. So how quick do they mature? They're about 3% so far. That's not too bad. Okay. Uh, they're a little bit glitchy though. They really are. They keep like kind of moving me and everything. But yeah, um, that is, that's baby eels, guys. <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of breeding with these guys. Actually, how many males and females did we get? One, one male, one female, two female, I think there. Uh, so two females. Okay. Not too many. Uh, but yes, we're going to do some breeding. We're going to get some mutations. Oh, my scuba tank just broke. <laughs> uh, I do have another one. By the way, in case anybody's wondering uh, where we got the Mastercraft and the Ascendant, I actually went into the ocean to try to find some deep sea loot crates to get a blueprint for a decent, um, what are they called, for a decent um, scuba tank, but I wasn't able to find any blueprints and I just found two air tags and two separate drops, which was okay. I mean, I'm happy with that. I would have kind of preferred an air, uh, like a blueprint though, so I don't have to be super careful with these things, but uh, yeah, so we have, we have some really good some really good air tanks now pretty good not too expensive to fix as well which is nice but um yeah so that's probably gonna be it for today guys we're gonna raise these little eels Man, they are they're hungry I don't have enough food on me for all of them <laughs> we're gonna raise these eels and um, we'll probably do another episode soon enough probably not immediately uh, soon enough to actually like uh, maybe get some mutations and then we'll get the whole tank here set up and I probably I think I want maybe like 15 actually no wait no 15 maybe too much because if the the more eels there are in here the more likely that I will lose one and not notice so maybe like 10 eels at most in this tank eventually that could be good yeah maybe like 10 eels would be a good amount I don't know <laughs> we'll see but, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this project, guys, seriously. Like, this, uh, I really, I'm really liking the way that the base is coming along right now. We're doing a lot of uh, cool work with, like, water creatures and everything, which is something that, like, I, I do, I do really like water creatures. Um, I like making the pens for them, and I like doing all that other cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna just pop this back on for now. So, like, it's really interesting to just, like, make all these really creative projects, like the shark pit thing, which, like, literally makes no sense to own, but it's really cool that we actually have one. <laughs> I don't know. Can we close that? Oh, that's gonna auto-close. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna definitely be doing this eel pit pretty soon. <laughs> I'm really excited for it, seriously. Oh, I can't wait to drop people in there. Oh, man. But, uh, yes, if you guys enjoyed the video, beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, subscribe. And um, yeah, I will see you next time.